Okay, so now let's move on to question number 12. What is the chemical equation for potassium oxide plus water makes potassium hydroxide? So I'll first write out the different ions involved in this equation. Potassium ion has a plus one charge. Then you have like an oxide. It has a two minus charge. And when you have hydroxide, This is when you have OH minus. So let's write out potassium oxide. I'm going to write out my potassium and my oxygen. And you'll notice that since the oxide has a minus 2 charge and the potassium only has a plus 1 charge, in order to make a neutral compound, we need two potassiums for every one oxygen to neutralize that negative 2 charge on the oxygen. For water, it is just H2O, and it produces potassium hydroxide. So I'm going to write out my potassium. And in this case, the hydroxide has only a minus 1 charge, while the potassium has its plus 1 charge, so it only reacts at a 1 to 1 ratio, and you get KOH. So now let's double check to see if everything is balanced. We have two potassiums on the reactant side, so I'm going to write out a 2 in front of the KOH, and then it shows we have two oxygens, and then two hydrogens. So this is the balanced chemical equation. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. The following are the chemical formulas of the compounds involved in the reaction. Potassium oxide is K2O, water H2O, potassium hydroxide, KOH. They have the unbalanced equation, and then they wrote out the balanced equation by putting a coefficient of 2 in front of KOH. So this solution is correct.